Hey there, it's Trina McClune here and I have just been making this album for a friend of mine who's about to have a baby and I was doing it just for fun and it's the first time I've done that in a long time and I wasn't planning on showing it to anyone or doing anything but I was so pleased with the outcome that I have decided to make a little video and show you what it's all about and what it is, it's a mini album made from scratch and it's about pregnancy and about the baby and things in the family and it's um, basically a baby brag and not a brag book it's a baby book um, for the baby when it gets older with all those memories and what I've done being a prima girl and a spellbinders girl I have used a lot of prima on here and a few spellbinders bits and pieces and I've used lots of inks and lots of different things and we'll see that as we go through um, I've also used book pages. I love book pages. I rip old books apart, um, buy them from my secondhand shop and just pop them onto my albums. It's just a piece of cardboard that is the base for the front cover. Then it's got some um, book page and then some uh, cardboard that I've just ripped up. Some um, canvas. Um, this has actually come from Prima. It's actually called Burlap and then some of their wooden icons, of course some flowers, and because this is baby number four, that's the title, four. Um, inside, I've got this amazing um, chipboard piece that's come from Dusty Attic, and because we don't know the sex of the baby, what I've done is I've kept it gender neutral, and everything is kind of these brown craft colours and a bit of green, some blue, a little bit of pink here and there, but basically gender neutral. And this is a, a welcome page, you know, hi baby, welcome, have a look at your book. Um, and again, there's a bit of a, a ripped page, I've taken some lovely patterned paper from Prima and put it underneath the chipboard piece, and of course some flowers and some lovely crystals. Over on this side, what I've done here is I've just made a um, page that you can put a photo in of the family before baby comes. And what would be really nice is if they had a photo of the whole family with the bump so that the baby's there but not there if that makes sense. But of course they could just do some journaling, um, they could put another photo, whatever you want. But the options are there for you. On this side, I've made a page all about the mother. So different things like mum's name and birthday and all that kind of stuff and just embellished it with some really cute things and this is where the pink comes into it and of course I've got some Martha Stewart punching going on down the side and then over here there's room for a photo of mum and that's not stuck down you can see that comes up and that means the photo can go underneath. This page over here is all about the dad and it's the exact same questions but all about dad um, and they call him Da so it's it, it's not a mistake <laughs> there is not meant to be a D in the end of that and again a photo there. Over on this page we've got things like before you our family included and then they can do things like um, you know their names of their people or their pets or something like that where they lived and what they loved to do over here there's room for some keepsakes or some photos um, and then on the back you could always do something or just leave the photos there on this side we've got the family tree and you can put photos in here of your immediate family with other family members down here perhaps up to you, you know, the person obviously, but I really liked the diagram. Over here we've got a page about before you arrived. Things about the pregnancy, when they found out they were pregnant and um, who the midwife was and all that kind of stuff. And that can just be handwritten in. Um, as we go through the album you'll see that there are little notches in some of the pages and that just means that there's a pocket between the pages so that they can put more information in there. They could put more pages, they could put more photos, they could put keepsakes. Um, and this is just a saying that I adore and so I wanted to include it because I know in this case the baby was very much thought of before, before it was made. Um, over here we've just got notes about the pregnancy and again with the, the pocket you can just pop some more notes in there if there's not enough room here and just a lovely stamp from Kaisercraft. And over here we've got how we prepared for you. So for example there might be photos of a new house or um, what they've done to chat, you know, because it's no, baby number four they might have had to buy a new car or whatever the case may be. They can put all this information here and add some photos in. 
I love this idea, letters to you from us. The idea that you write a letter to the baby before it's born. So there's room here for mum and dad and one from the brothers as well. This page is blank and that is done deliberately. So there's room for anything that I may not have thought of that they want to include. Um, there might be room for photos, whatever. Time to meet you when labour began, where mum was, who she was with, what happened next, and just other exciting moments that might have happened. And then this one is Welcome to the World, so it gives all the details about the baby, the name that was chosen, when he, he or she was due, the birth date, time of the birth, weight, height, hair, you know, all of those types of things. Um, and then over here, room for his first photo, his. I keep on calling it a he, I don't know why. Anyway, um, and again, just leaving this up so that they can put the, slide the photo in. And here I've got a series of four tabs that they can pull out and either put photos on, perhaps some hand or feet prints or any kind of information that they want to. This one again is just a blank page. I just adore this little picture that Prima put on their papers. And I thought these worked in very well. It's a celebration. and. and so why not make it so. Um, over here we've got first anything that they think is important that they might want to put down on the page and in this one we've got another tabbed page that they can pull out, put some photos on, put some writing, journaling, whatever they want. And just behind that I've also got a pocket. In this pocket I've put some white embossing um, stamped banners on it and Again, that could be stuck to a page, or it could just be left in here. Turning over, we've got First Christmas. Seeing that it's uh, November at the moment, First Christmas is coming up, so I thought it was a good opportunity to talk about that, what happened, or in fact put in a photo, or perhaps both. Over here, this is a lovely idea, I think. I always wanted to do it, but then I saw a waterfall pages and I thought, right, we can do it this way. And it's moments in time watching them grow. So basically there's an area for a photo at birth and then an area for journaling. There's an area for three months, six months, nine months, 12 months, and then keepsakes at the back. And just in here, I've just got some more little tabbed bits of paper that they can do some journaling on or, um, I don't know, maybe put some photos, whatever they'd like. Um, and there's plenty of room for extra photos or indeed lots and lots of journaling. This page is left blank because I know there's things I've left out. Um, and then this one here, again, is a pocket to the side and it's just a postcard form. So you could put a couple of small photos, you could put journaling and photos, or you could just do journaling. And this could be a really good place to do something like the costs of the day, um, things like petrol or um, milk or bread or coke or coffee, things that we use on a daily basis that you can compare to the future. Finally in my album, I found these, and I can't remember where I got them from, it was off pin interest, but I don't know who it was, I'm afraid. And it was it's a list, and you print them out, and it's the same list of 20 questions that you ask every year until they are 18 years old. And so it's a way that you can see the changes and growth in your child for 18 years. Obviously, year one, you're going to be doing it yourself. And it will probably start coming into effect about year three or four, when they can really start answering things themselves. Most of them I've just printed back to back, but some of them I have in fact printed and then attached and sewn together so that there's more space for actual information or photos or anything like that. Um, very final page I've just again just a bit of cardboard that I've covered with book paper and then I've stamped doilies and embossed it with white embossing powder. Uh, the back page is just a green page it's nothing special just a bit of lovely Prima paper that I've inked. So as you can see it's a quite a compact book. My hand is um, quite a big hand, but it's not much bigger than my hand. Um, the pages inside are five and a half inches wide by eight inches high. 
so you can see it's not huge but it's just the perfect size I think for a special album for your friend who's having a baby. I hope you get a chance to make one yourself. Thanks for looking today. Just thought I'd show you very quickly um, how I wrapped this present and it's just with some beautiful music paper from um, Basil Basics and some seam binding and then a little white tag that I've just put for you on it. It's very simple but I think it looks really effective and again gender neutral for the baby. Thanks for watching again. Bye.